Regardless of the level of trading experience you have, you are in for a treat in today's video as I'll be taking you through a beginner step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your trading view to make your charting and technical analysis extremely effective. So at the end of today's video, every single person here should be a full-blown expert when it comes to usage of trading view. If you can't wait for me to start this video as usual, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you like this video, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a video or go live on YouTube. We'll be right back. One of my previous videos i made mention of the fact that there are certain tools that we as forex traders use that makes our lives extremely easy that makes our work extremely efficient and effective as forex traders examples of those were the trading platforms like the mt4 the mt5 we also had the trading view and the likes today we'll be focusing more on trading view how to use it how to set it up so you have it just looking like mine have it look extremely professional how to use it like a pro as i do you know how we do it on this side without wasting my time let's jump right onto the chats so what you basically do is just click on the link in my description then just go straight to trading view or you can easily just open your browser and just type www.tradingview.com it brings you to this website like this where you can easily sign up with facebook with your apple id with linkedin with your yahoo mail with twitter with google or you can use a special email of yours so i'm basically signing up with google now I log in with my email now I want to finish setting up my trading view account. So what name do I want to use? Let's say I want to use Common Forex. Let's say I want to place an underscore there. So Common Forex underscore. If you want to, if you wish to receive emails or whatever, you just click on this. So I have read privacy policies that you go, just go to next. It gives you the option to just sign up for either the pro version or the free version. Let's just decide to use the free version for now. Let's go to super chats. So the moment you log into your trading view, this is what you see. This is the main interface of your trading view. This is what you actually see from the jump. So now let me help you guys set it up to have it looking more professional. So first, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove this volume down here. So just right click and then just click on remove to change this boring white interface as well i always like the dark theme if you've been following me for a while so i just right click you come to color theme then you change your color theme to dark next up we wish to change the interface the background of our trading view so now we just right click we go to settings we start with a symbol in this case let's maintain the green for the bullish candles red for the bearish candle you remember what i said about bullish and bearish candles the next thing i want you to do is just come to your canvas you come to your background you make it solid then you change it to white so you can see your charts really well then what you also want to do next is to also what take your watermark the watermark simply displays the name of whatever currency pair you are trading in the background so you don't struggle to find the name or you don't struggle to know what pair you've actually opened on your charts that's what the watermark does for you in this case and with the text on the watermark you can increase it to whatever size you want anything you want as well once i've changed the background i've placed the watermark there i've selected the color of the candlesticks i want to use one more thing is you also need to make sure everything on your trading view has been auto saved so you want to actually come to this section and then make sure that the chart layout is always saved in your name so i'll just change the chart layout to common forex underscore like i selected in the beginning then i save and i also need to make sure auto save is always activated if auto save is activated you don't need to manually save every single analysis you do every single drawing tool you draw it saves automatically and it will be on the chart forever until you decide to delete it so once i have a layout in my name what do i want to do next i also want to come to the watch list and then select the appropriate currency pairs i need to trade so now i just delete every single thing here to have the right appropriate currency pairs i want to trade so now i just come to my watch list hit my plus then i'll just search i'll just come to the forex section whatever broker i want to select it from let's say in this case if i want to choose oanda as my broker let's add a few of my favorite pairs let's look for euro usd so once you type the currency you just hit on plus then let's come to gbp usd then let's have usd chf then i think let's add one last one gold XAU USD. We can't find gold here. I think we can find gold actually in all. So we just select gold. So now let's say these are the four main pairs. I'm doing this so you know what pairs to add. You know which pairs you are more familiar and comfortable with trading. In this case, I'm selecting these four for learning purposes. So you realize that now when you come to your right side, the pairs you've selected are all listed here. I simply come up here where we have the three dots, the settings. Then I just remove the change and then the percentage change i only need the last price so once i do that you realize that it's only displaying the, the price for me i don't care about any other 
unnecessary information. You know, I just close it up a bit to make it look more, you know, interesting. Then I also want to remove this zone. I want it to go all the way down because I don't need it. Once I'm displaying the name of whatever pay I'm trading. So now I just click on Euro USD. Realize that Euro USD is in the background. So now I just come up here. Then I, I start whatever time frame I'm actually extremely comfortable with trading. So my time frame, my number one time frame is a four hour. So I just add it to my favorites. Then I also have the one hour for day trades. And then the 15 minutes to also help me with a short term perspective as well. If I'm also looking to take some scalping opportunities, I also do that on the 15 minutes. And then to have an overall perspective on the market, what it's actually going to do in long term, I add my daily, weekly, and then monthly as well. So you realize that now every single time frame I've added is actually here. So I can just switch between time frames. I can go to the 15 minutes. I can go to the one hour. I can go to the four hour. I can go to the daily. I can go to the weekly. And then I can also go to the monthly. So now let's uh, place it on the four hour to see what's happening on the chart. So you can see clearly we have the market in the four hour time frame. When you switch between time frames, sometimes the chart layout you know changes a lot. When you switch between time frames, you go to another time frame, you realize that the chart you know the whole dynamic the whole the way your candlestick looks sometimes they are longer sometimes they are smaller if you want to actually have it constant if you want to have the sizes constant irrespective of the time frame you choose you can just choose to click auto when you bring your mouse here you see a and l so this is auto it fits data to screen and then you have the logarithmic here as well so you just click on a auto it means that whatever time frame you go the candlesticks the sizes of the candlesticks will look the same in order to prevent it from distorting your view on what's happening on the charts bonus tip if you switch to another time frame and then the candlesticks are looking you know somehow strange all you need to do all you need to do is to just double click on the prices you have on the right side of the plane once you double click on the prices it also realigns everything here for you then the next thing you also want to do is to also make sure that your charts are displayed in candlesticks the candlesticks are the most universally recognized you know form of charts display we have so back then a lot of people used to use the line charts you can also use the line with the max the area the hollow candles the bar charts but the most comfortable one we use are the candles so make sure you have them in the hole there's any indicator you also want to include on your charts you just come to indicators you just search for the indicators here so let's say if i want to add this 24 hour volume if i want to add any single indicator i can just add it to my favorites by just starting it here so it, it will just appear in my favorites here on your trading your left side is where you have your drawing panel where you have your drawing tools there are lots of indicators on the left side as well as the right side is where you have your alerts your economic news you have your watch list and the likes up here is where you can have your replay tool for your back testing you have your alerts here in case you expect to make any trading decision when the price gets somewhere or you want to come monitor the market when the price gets to a particular level you want you simply just use your alerts for that then you have your indicator template your indicators are here your candlesticks you also have your time frames here you can even search for any symbols you can search for your symbols here as well and then just check on them if you want to just look at a specific currency pair and know what it's doing at a particular point in time or know what happened to it at a particular point in time you just use a search symbol for that on the right side you realize that the first one is where you have your watch list details news these are where all your currency pairs are, are in your watch list then the second one is where you have your alerts where you manage all your alerts if there's any specific alert you set let's say if i set a specific alert here that if the price gets here i expect it to do something let's say if i expect to maybe buy when the price gets here and I create my alert. And when I come to my alert management, you realize I already have an alert here that I'm trying to buy when you will USD get to this particular price. So this is where you actually manage your alerts. If you wish to delete your alert as well, you just click on the clock and you just delete the alert. So the next one is where you have the data window. If data window simply displays information about a specific currency pair you are focusing on. So let's say Euro USD like we have on the chat here. If you want to, I want to see what's happening on Euro USD, I want to have every information on it. I just click on the data window. You see everything here the daily high daily low everything is actually here on euro usd the volume everything is on euro usd you also have today's date here as well so this symbol here is where you have your economic data where you can have any news that might affect the market any news that might cause volatility on a specific currency pair that will help you find trades on the market is on the economic data so economic data window displays every fundamental information that might happen with a specific currency pair within a specific day now let's move on to the left vertical side of the screen the left vertical side of the screen is where we have our drawing tools our indicators our object tree and all, all the various tools we need to enable our technical analysis be fruitful we have all of them on the left side of the screen the first thing i want you to understand is the various drawing tools that you need to do so now i'm showing you a few of the drawing tools i actually use the ones i actually use in my analysis so now let's see here i don't really have any favorite drawing tool from here so let's go to the next one if i need a trend line i just add it to my favorites you realize that the moment i take on trend line i add it to my favorites 
it appears here. It means I don't need to be coming back to the trend line here. Then let's say if I also want to add a horizontal line, in case I want to draw a horizontal line in my charts, I add that as well. I add a horizontal ray if I need that. If I need a parallel channel, I also add that if I need that. So anything I want to draw, I just add it to my favorites here. Then I'll also come to my indicators. Indicator, let's say if I want to add fib retracement, I just add it. You see it appearing on, on the horizontal plane in the middle of the chart there. I don't need, I don't think I need any of these indicators. These are all indicators and patterns we have. Then I can also come to the projection tools here. I need a risk to reward for my long position. That's if I'm trying to take a buy. If I want to know where to set my stop loss and take profit, I have them here. Then I also want to have the short position here. So in case you want to mark out a specific price range or a date range, it's all up to you. You want to see what the market does in a specific date range. You can also add that to your drawing tools. Then there's one very, very important tool I want you guys to add, which is the ghost feed. What a ghost feed actually does is it helps you make projections, but it actually leaves it in chart form. So let me show you something. So let's say if I expect the market to, let's say, travel from here all the way up here from here. Using the ghost feed means that it will just display everything like candlesticks for me this way. So you realize that now the projections I'm making, I'm expecting to see something like this with a ghost feed. So we, we call it a ghost feed because they are not real candlesticks you're actually seeing on this uh, chart. The ghost feed you actually use to make your projections on the chart, but it leaves it in candlesticks form and makes it, you know, some sort of simulated way where you feel it's real candlesticks, but they are not real. So let's say if I expect it to drop again when it gets to this particular price, I just double click on the next price. Then now you realize my ghost feed is showing here. So you realize that this one just tells me that I'm expecting the market to move up, 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 up to this point, and then reverse and come down. But instead of maybe placing a line or a path there, I will rather put the ghost feed there to just let me see how the market is behaving. Then I'll just delete that. Then let's say the next place, let's say here, you want to add, and I, let's say you, I want to add a brush. I want to add maybe the arrow. I'll just add it to my favorites. And then a few shapes as well. Rectangle, the path. I also add a circle as well. It helps me to accentuate certain price points I actually want to pay attention or focus on when the market gets there. So I add my circle. Then let's say if I want to add my triangle, I just add that. So you realize every single drawing tool you're adding is appearing here. Then let's say I want to also add the text as well. If you feel you need your emojis, it's all up to you. Your trading view is actually down to help suit your analysis in whichever form you want. So you realize that everything I have is on this rectangular plane. I don't need to come back here every single time. Then this tool you have here, which is the measure, is what you actually use to check for your pips. In my beginner video, I talked about pips. The pips can be easily be measured with this ruler you have here. Let's say I want to check how many pips the market will move from here all the way to up here. I simply just click on this price, then I just drag it, then I click on where I expect it to end. This is where I have my pips. You can easily see 134.9 pips, almost 135 pips. If I want to check from up here to all the way down, I just use the same ruler. I click on the price up here, then I just drag my mouse all the way down here. Then you see 486 pips here. Then the next tool is what you actually use to zoom in on a specific region. So let's say if I want to actually zoom in on this specific region, I just click on this zoom in tool. I share this region. You realize that it gives you, you know, a clear, you know, depiction on what the market did in that specific. If you want to actually see the candlesticks clearer, use that zoom in tool for that. Then I just zoom out. Then it just goes back to the previous form. Then I can also easily have the stay in drawing mode. The stay in drawing mode, actually, you use, you use it when you want to keep drawing a specific thing on the charts. So let's say if I'm draw, I'm using trend lines, and I'm drawing trend lines everywhere. So if I draw a first trend line here. And I want to draw another trend line. I only need to click on that price. And I I'll just draw the other trend line. If I want to draw another trend line, I just need to what, click on this particular price again. Then I can draw another trend line. So if you stay in drawing mode, it means that now anytime you tap on your screen, you are about to draw the same, you know, tool you drew earlier. If I want to remove the stay in drawing mode, I'll just click here. You can also just delete anything you draw with your delete. So you just click on it. Then you delete. You just click on it. Then you delete with either your backspace or you can use your mouse to delete it as well. Then this one also locks all drawings. Let's say if I have a horizontal ray, if I have a trend line here, if I have, let's say, this box here, locking into the screen means that now I can just keep it here. If you want all your drawings to stay in position, this is the best tool to use to do that. So you realize that everything you do, I try moving it, it doesn't move. They'll all stay in 
position. Now this one like the eye is what we call the object tree which is one of the most important things you have here. So object tree just helps you hide all your drawings. So if you want to hide all your indicators you can hide it. If you want to hide your positions in case you've connected your trading platform to your trading view you can also hide it or you can also choose to hide all. So here if we hide all it means that if someone opens your charts they don't see any of the drawings you have. They don't see any of the projections you've made. They don't see anything you've done on your charts because you've actually hidden them from public view. So we just click on it again. Then it, so that's what we call the object tree. Then the last one is actually used to delete, uh, remove the objects from your screen. If you want to remove every single thing you've drawn on your screen, you just click on this and it just removes it instantly. So here, which is the favorite drawing tools, this one shows all your drawings on the drawings toolbar. So if I want to hide this thing, I can also just click on this star and it takes away my drawing toolbar. If I click on it again, my favorite drawings all appear on my toolbar. One more thing I want you to know is that every single thing we've done here, there are actually shortcuts for them. So you can simply just click on your profile, come all the way down here. Yeah, you can even download your view onto your desktop instead of going to a website. And then we also have keyboard shortcuts that will make your work extremely convenient and then extremely easy. So you see we have all the shortcuts here. You can just search on them and then know how to use them. If you want to change time interval, if you want to do anything, it's all here. If you want to replay, if you want to zoom out, we have all of them all here. If you want to also undo something you've drawn, you just click on this they, they show you the, you just click on what we call command z so i'm using a macbook so command z on macbook on your windows is just control z redo command y on your macbook on your windows control y so this is where we have the charts then indicators drawings as well you have all the shortcuts on them so if you want to measure the two you realize that the measure tool you have here for the pips you can easily just hold your shift plus you just click on where you want to actually start you know measuring the pips from if you want to copy all of these we have shortcuts for them. if you want to hide your drawings as well there are shortcuts for them so every single thing you've seen me do here there are actually shortcuts for them and if you want to also draw your trend line your horizontal line your horizontal with all the tools here you all, you see all the shortcuts here just come to your profile go to the bottom you find them all there it's actually in your keyboard shortcuts at the bottom here then you can also choose to change the language to have it in whatever form you want then we just close the shortcuts here as well then the next thing you might also want to do is you might also want to do your chart replay which is for actually for your back testing that's if you want to come back in time and then play it but you realize that if your trading view is the free which is the basic plan you will not be able to do your back testing you can only do this on a daily time frame if your trading view is actually free but if it's a paid version you can do it on every single time frame switch time frames do anything you want to do and then there's also one point here where you can also watch more than one trade one panel on your screen it means that you can watch more than one currency pair but this is also not available on the free version it also cannot create multiple watch lists on the free version so on the free version you can only have one watch list and then your red list but on the paid version like mine you can actually watch more than one so you can see i can actually watch oil and then cap jpy at a time because mine is actually the paid version the other thing is the replay tool where the replay tool like i talked about earlier i can easily see my back testing on my four hour time frame i can do it on my one minute time frame and daily my weekly my monthly and the likes all of these time frames can help me do my single analysis so i can do it on all of these time frames and then for the watch list as well i can create as many watch lists as i want to so you can see i have AD fundamentals card fundamentals my crypto watch list my day trading watch list, my swing trading my us dollar fundamentals i can create as many watch lists as i want so you realize i create new watch list then you just create then you add the symbols to them then if you also want to search for any tool or function you can just click on the search box up here let me just search for whatever tool or function so basically i think i've covered every single thing you need to know on trading view hopefully with this video you now have a clear cut picture of exactly how to set up your trading view to enable you make cogent analysis and then also have an effectively organized trading life and then trading career if you're still here make sure you subscribe to the channel if you love trading make sure you also like this video and then share it as well you can also feel free to share in the comment section anything new you actually learned from this video if there was anything that was an eye-opening information for you if there's anything you felt you didn't know but you're able to discover it from this video feel free to share it in the comment section keep up with me on my socials common forest on instagram common forest on twitter common forest on telegram common forest on tiktok as well also click on the link in my description to join the common forex trading community as well as to sign up with my recommended broker so next time See you in the next video.